Speaker and Arts Centre and to be here just after your uh, significant anniversary celebrations and the concerts that I know you had here uh, last night, which I heard was a great, uh, a great success. Uh, I've had a really, a really good visit uh, to Belfast so far today. I was uh, delighted and honoured to meet with the First Minister, the Deputy First Minister, to meet with the Speaker of the Stormont Assembly, to meet with all of the political parties of Northern Ireland. And I must say this, after years of political impasse and a vacuum, and I can only imagine how frustrating that must have been uh, for people here, uh, to see people back at the desk uh, working hard and trying to make progress on the people's priorities uh, is something that is really, really heartening, and it's something that is really needed, because people need to see politics working for them, uh, and politics delivering for them, and I can definitely, I, I can definitely uh, say this to you, whilst there can always be reasons to divide uh, there is so much more that you might see, and I must say I'm so heartened to see uh, the new Northern Ireland executive focusing on those uh, on those issues. And we had really good meetings today. Also had a very good meeting with a whole range of people from the business community, lots of different people working in Northern Ireland to talk about the all island economy. This is only a small island. Forget the politics are all the jurisdictions. It's still only a small island, uh, and there's so many areas where it simply makes sense uh, to work together. I was really, really pleased to say that. But I was particularly excited uh, to be coming here today, and I say that genuinely because I wanted to be here today to say thank you to Bill and all the team for all of them.